in the future, when Scarlett grows up, I will be handing this over to her. This will be hers. I hope she doesn't give this to her future husband. <laughs> this is hers. Hi Preview, this is Doc Hayden, and today I'm going to show you my designer favorites. So before I used to like colors, I like to experiment, but when I turned 42 for some reason, I gravitated towards more monochromatic and more analogous colors, so in more quiet, more peaceful, I guess it comes with age. I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite brands, but that would include Prada, Vuitton, Xenia, and Hermes. Those are the quiet brands, I guess more for my age, 42. I never really looked for designer brands, I just gravitated towards it because the quality is better and I, I find that it's a better investment than buying a lot of clothes that after just a few washes it wears out. When I look for clothing articles, any clothing articles, I always look for craftsmanship. I always look for obviously design. And at least for me, what I look for really is uniqueness. I really like collecting items that I've never seen before, that when people see, it's a conversation piece. So you'll see some of that later. This piece is an item I just acquired early this year. It's a Tiffany brooch by Jean Klumberger. It's actually a re-edition. It was uh, designed in 1965, and this one is a stone called Aquamarine. Now, I think this will be a future heirloom. Scarlett, my daughter, Scarlett Snow, she was born in March 3, and her birthstone is the Aquamarine. This was a long discussion between me and my wife if I should get this or not, because she thinks it's impractical. And I was, you know, justifying why I should get this. And together we decided, okay, it's a good investment. So I got this piece, and in the future, when Scarlett grows up, I will be handing this over to her. This will be hers. I hope she doesn't give this to her future husband. <laughs> this is hers. I've always been a fan of Virgil Lablo, the designer of Louis Vuitton. So ever since he became the creative director for Louis Vuitton Men's, I've been following his work and I've been buying a lot of his work for Louis Vuitton. So ever since his first collection, the trunk bags, clothes, I really look for them and really buy the pieces with my personality and my, my style. So this one is a mini soft trunk. It's a new color, it's called Vicuña Color. I just got this during my last trip in Milan, during the Milan Fashion Week. It's Croc. It's between your color. Like I said a while ago, when I turned 42, for some reason I gravitated towards more peaceful, more quiet, more monochromatic tones and more earthy tones, I guess. This one I use almost every day. Well, not in Manila because when I'm in Manila, I'm always at work. But when I'm out in another country or we're in trips, I always bring this. This is my go-to bag. When I was younger, I didn't really wear bags. But now, of course, you have to bring a mask, you have to bring a phone, a battery charger, etc, etc. So now this is a necessity. Maybe not necessarily croc, but this one's nice, don't you think? Now let's talk about shoes. I'm not really a collector of shoes, but I love shoes that have nice silhouettes. And I discovered Xenia, the triple stitch. You can see this is also Vicuña color. But actually, I have, I think, about 15 pairs of this. And I have all the colors, pretty much all the colors. Yeah, I wear it almost every day. I gave Piolo Pascual a pair, and he loves it. He asked for another pair. Fortunately, we have the same size, so it's a hand me down lang I gave PJ. The reason why I like this is because it's easy to use, easy to wear, just slip on. Very, very comfortable. In fact, this is the most comfortable pair of shoes that I've ever worn in my entire life. Parang slippers, same as parang shoes. And another thing is that I met Alessandro Sartori, the creative director of Denia. And so I really like his vibe, I really like his style. So right now, to be honest, my favorite brand is Ermini Hilda Zenia, especially the couture line, because those are the more unique ones. I love the quality of the material they use. I love the design. It's really classic. I mean, it's classic but unique, so I can wear it for a long, long time. It's become a uniform. Before I tell you about my next piece, I'd like to share with you a little thing about my insecurity when choosing pieces. I am very indecisive and quite Im impulsive, which is a bad combination because I always make a mistake. So nowadays, I always ask my wife's opinion because for me, the most important is that she finds me good to look at or good looking. Her opinion is the most important to me. Sometimes I ask Scarlett because I feel that Scarlett has a good taste in colors and she combines colors well. She's quite an artist. But then she gets me Pokemon shirts. <laughs> so this piece is a, like a M monochrome. But what's special about this camera is that this particular design, it's an M10P monochrome Delft, which was designed by Marcus Wainwright, who is the creative director of Rag & Bone. So this body is a special edition monochrome. It only shoots black and white. And this piece is a special red 
piece, which is very hard to get. It took me years just to get this piece. I think together, it makes quite a unique combination. I also collect like uh, range finders, the M series, and I use it as a fashion piece. I wish I could take more photos. I wish I had more time to, to use it. But right now, I mean, I feel more comfortable bringing a camera with me that has a good design rather than being those bulky, I won't say the brand, but those bulky cameras that, that would make me look like a professional photographer, which I'm not. So this piece is a piece I got from Hermes a few months back. I think that there will be a resurrection of the pocket watch, so I'm going ahead of everyone. I think there is a, this trend of reissuing vintage pieces, so this piece is a reissue of a vintage piece from 1965. I know that some cameras, at least for Leica, they reissued the film camera called M6, and they reissued a lot of lenses that were issued like 1960s. This one is also a design from a long time ago, obviously. Who wears a pocket watch? But I like it because of its design. I don't know yet how I'm gonna wear this. Probably when I travel, I'll use my wristwatch as a guest local time, and this will be my home time, Philippines. Or maybe I'll put it in a bag. I honestly don't know how I will use it yet. Vicky finds it funny that I bought a watch like this. Let me know what you think. Do you think there will be a resurrection of pocket watches? Now the last piece I'm gonna show you is another piece by the late Virgil Abloh. This one, I really wasn't thinking of getting it, but after he passed away, this was shown in a collection in Paris. There's only one size left and one piece left that during that time when I saw this, it was just a few months ago, so I decided to get it. Not necessarily to use it every day because it's not practical and I would look funny if I wear this every day in the Philippines. I bought this because it's Virgil Abloh's and I think it's going to be a future iconic piece. It's this one. And behind, it says, don't let your day job define you. I hope one day I'll uh, absorb his uh, artistic talents. That's it, preview. Again, this is Doc Hayden. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you want to follow me, it's at Doc Hayden, D-O-C-H-A-Y-D-E-N on Instagram. Ciao.